Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Saturday afternoon, about 1.30. I'm getting a late start, but that's because I had to do some stuff and it was the right time to do it. Here's an issue that I'm having. My DJI wireless transmitter, the one that I always use, isn't working. I don't know what's the matter with it. I tried to turn it on the other day and it wouldn't come on. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. I guess maybe I must have left it on and I drained it. So I plugged it in. It went and it came on and the light started blinking and then it went and it shut off and then the light wouldn't come on. And I was like, huh, all right. Well, if the light goes off, that generally means that it's fully charged. So I pulled it off, you know, off from charging and it did the same thing. It wouldn't come on, but then it did come on and I was like, okay, what the hell? So it was on and I could see on the receiver that it was fully charged. So, okay, maybe I just didn't push the button right, whatever. Didn't think about it. So here we are today. I get in the Forerunner. I'm on my way to Pleasure House Point because it is 65 degrees and sunny. And I haven't seen the sun all week and it was pretty damn depressing. So I'm sitting in the Forerunner in the driveway and I was like, ah, you know what? Let me sh turn all this shit on and talk about today's adventure. And it wouldn't come on. So I was all right, screw this. I went back upstairs. I got the second receiver that I never use, switched the magnets out because this one's got the bigger magnet on it that I took from one of the Rode Wireless Goes. Boom, it turned on, it's on right away. It's working just fine. Don't know what's going on, but you know, I, I realize things are finite. I'll just have to use this one and then see what I have to do to, to get the other one fixed. I hope that I don't have to send the entire like set in because that would really suck. So like I said, I'm on my way to Pleasure House Point. It's it's been kind of a crappy week for me in that it, the weather was just awful pretty much all week and I got myself what I thought was ahead and I thought I was doing really well with day job and then suddenly everything turned to shit in one day in, in like a half an hour and I realized that there was some stuff that I dropped the ball on and I'm like oh you've got to be kidding me and that turned into a lot of work. I don't like to, to miss stuff. I don't like to not be doing my job well. So it was like another straw on my back for the week that just sucked. Now, of course, I filmed a little bit every day, but it here we go again. It sucked. It was boring. It was nothing. I, I was in a shit mood and I'm just like, yeah, I, I mean, I kind of got to a point there on, on Thursday, which was the shit day, the really shit day. I just wanted to freaking sell all of this stuff. I wanted to sell everything and just not do anything. That's how awful I, I was up here. And I don't like being like that. So I'm like, screw it. I'm going to bed. I'm not dealing with any more with this. I had sent my boss an email. And I said, I'm done. I'm done for today. I'm just, I'm not doing anything else. I'll pick it back up tomorrow. Still had a shit ton to do yesterday. And I was in the office all day. The only time I went outside was to take the garbage out in the morning. Otherwise, I was in my office all day. Now, it was pissing rain sideways. Like it was just, it just did not stop. It was just pouring all day. So that kept me inside anyways, but it also was just like, ugh, I loathe rain and dark and dreary and all that shit. I really obviously prefer the sunlight and I needed some sunlight. So thank Zeus today, it's nice and sunny. And other than doing my normal Saturday morning stuff, plus those couple of things I needed to do and get out of the way, now I'm ready to go. It is hot as balls in this freaking truck, man. I can't drive with the windows down, but it was hot as balls in my house too, because yesterday, because it got so rainy and dreary, it got really chilly in the house, so I had to turn the heat on. And then by the time I finished doing my couple of things there, I'm like, okay, that wasn't that labor intensive. Why the hell am I so hot? And then I looked and it was like 76 degrees in the house, upstairs, 77 downstairs. I'm like, oh, oh that's right, it's gonna be nice, huh? So I had to turn the AC on before I left. And now here we are. Thank you, Mother Nature, for bringing me back up today. It's gonna be a challenging couple of months, to say the least. And I may or may not be posting, we shall see. I know I said I was gonna do a short every day. You see how that went out the window. I don't know. I just feel like sitting there filming myself on a short saying something stupid just really isn't that productive. I will also say I had this conversation with Yankee Cowboy the other night that I, part of my, I don't want to say depression, I'm not depressed, but part of being bummed is that I'm not creating anything. I'm not posting. I got into 
the habit of filming, editing, and posting every day for, for almost two years. And to not be able to do that now, it's, it's fucking with my chi. And I, clearly I missed that outlet and it was important to me and I need to find a way to try to get it back into my groove, into my flow. And I haven't figured out how to do that because by the time I'm done doing day job stuff and it's never ending, I just don't have it in me to freaking then edit a video. And I definitely know that, that my short-lived January and maybe part of February of filming all week and then cutting a video together like over the weekend, that ain't gonna work either because I have so much footage to go through that it, 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 then it becomes a burden. And if it's a burden, I'm not gonna do it. I gotta figure something else out. You know, I, I was shooting five to 10 minute videos every day until I started doing this filming the whole week and then they became 15, I tried to get them at 15 minutes. To me, that's even too long. Like who the hell wants to watch me blather on for 15 minutes? So I, I gotta come up with something. I, I have to figure this out because I need this outlet. I need this creative outlet and I'm not, I haven't been able to do it. And it's bugging me. Clearly it's bugging me. M my week started last Sunday and I was going to take a couple of recliners from, you know, the sale across the street. Ended up, we just, we can't find a place to put them. So we just didn't do it. But to prepare for that, we finally took the Christmas tree down. Sorry, cat. And we got rid of a bunch of boxes that, that he was using because they needed to go too. They were old and gross and getting smushed and eh. So we took all that shit out of there. I vacuumed the entire downstairs. She put the Turkish table back together with all the pillows and cleaned the pillows off with all the cat hair and all that shit. You know, we moved a couple of toys around and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, holy shit, it's completely changed our place because of like no clutter and all that stuff now being open. And it was great. So I thought I would take that momentum and continue to vacuum. I hate vacuuming my stairs because, you know, who wants to vacuum stairs? They suck. So I couldn't figure out how to use my main vacuum cleaner by taking it apart and using the canister. I don't even know if I can do that. So I was like, all right, screw it. I'm just going to use my dirt devil. I put the dirt devil together and I started top and I started working my way down on the first landing. I was about four steps up and I stopped and I turned around to say something to my wife. And I was wearing, I was trying the gold toe socks. I wasn't trying them. I was wearing a pair that were clean because all the other socks were supposed to be washed that day. Never again. Those freaking things were so slippery that before I even knew what happened, my feet went out from under me and I slammed down onto my ass and my, and my feet somehow, I think. I, I don't know. It's all a blur of how it happened. But in the blink of an eye, I went down like a, like a 50 pound bag of shit and I hit and it was all in slow motion because I had time to look at my wife as the momentum then carried me forward down the rest of the steps. Now, here's my joke. Fortunately for me, there was a bookshelf on the landing that broke my fall. I slammed into that thing hard enough to knock pretty much everything off of it and knock it into the wall. And I don't know how I didn't break my shoulder or my collarbone or my face because everything went into that bookshelf. And I say, fortunately for me, because it is my honest belief that if that bookshelf hadn't been there to catch the brunt of my forward momentum, I would have went head first all the way down the stairs against the wall. And I probably would have broken my neck. I mean, that's how quick and how fast and how hard I felt. So I had this big line down all the way, like down my shoulder, down my arm, and that was it. That, I was like, she's like, oh my God, are you okay? She came up and she was like trying to push the bookshelf back and, and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, well, that was kind of interesting, but there is damage. There's damage in that I either broke my toe and or I dislocated it. Cause I looked down after the, adrenaline sort of calmed down and I looked at, at my sock and I could see that my toe wasn't in the right position. So naturally dumb monkey yanked it and, and popped it back to where it should be, should be. And then about 20 minutes later when the adrenaline was gone, then it started to hurt and it started to look black and blue. 
And my wife was like, how is your toe? And I go, it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And I was sitting on the couch with it up and, and the, the sole was towards her, but the back was towards me. And I go, it's just a little bit of discoloration. And she looked at it and she's like, dude, it is not okay. Holy shit, did you look at it from this end? And I, you know, I twisted myself around. I was like, oh yeah, that doesn't look right. It was like severely discolored now and it was really swollen. And I was like, ah, son of a bitch. So she went in and grabbed ice and forced me to put ice on it and take some ibuprofen. And then I just sat like upstairs in my office doing my normal shit with it on there, on and on, off, 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 blah, 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 all that crap. And throughout, I mean, almost immediately, like it doesn't, I mean, yeah, it's tender. It was wrenched in a different direction. Um, so it was a little tender, but I can move it. I can move it and it doesn't really hurt until I get way down there. And it's still a little bit swollen. The discoloration is starting to go away. We looked at it last night and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think that I broke it, but I'm not an x-ray machine. And I don't feel like dealing with an x-ray machine. So I'm not going to deal with that right now. I have too much other shit going on to be dealing with that. So yeah, dumb monkey fell down the fucking stairs, almost killed myself, certainly broke or dislocated a toe. And that was the start of the week. <laughs> it only got worse from there. And, you know, with the day job shit happening and other personal things, it, it's, it, it was a rough week. Very rough week up here. And I was very down and I needed the sunshine to, to break me out of that. Mother Nature and her sunshine rays always help me. I don't like, I could never live in Seattle or any of that up Northwest shit with the rain and it's always dreary and cloudy and all that crap. No way. I need me some freaking Pleasure House Point. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna go into Pleasure House Point and I'm gonna walk around and enjoy myself. Okay, let's get out to the point and have some fun. I forgot to mention the Forerunner is covered with pollen and so it begins. Okay, so have some kids dicking around in the water over there. So there aren't gonna be any birds in this first lake like there normally are. Not a lot I can do about that, so let's move on. It's really cool because of the way I redid my colors on the peaking and the focus, this tree is a magnificent shade of cobalt blue. Of course, when you're looking at the footage, you can see it's just a normal brown tree, but with these beautiful white blooms on them, it almost looks like there's snow on it. Like I said, tis the season, that's why my forerunner is covered in pollen. Okay, I gotta start remembering to bring an extra battery with me, because I'm at 53% and I haven't used this camera in a couple of days. So I didn't think that battery life was gonna be an issue. And considering I plug it in as well when I'm driving in the Forerunner all the time, but kind of sucks. No birds out today, but it's just so gorgeous out and I'll take it. Oh, look, birds. Okay, there's a great egret and a bunch of ducks over here. And I was gonna say, if I walk over here and there's nothing here, then I'm gonna turn around at that point. I'm not gonna walk the rest of the point because there won't be anything over there for sure. Okay, so the bird eye autofocus is starting to earn its keep because the autofocus wanted to center on this stick, this pole that's sticking up, but the eye autofocus actually went to the bird's eye, which is teeny, and that bird's not that close. So hopefully the shots will turn out. I've been very disappointed in, in my bird photography over the last two or three months. It sucked, which is why I haven't posted anything anywhere. So hopefully it'll turn out better today. I wish there were more birds, but hey, one's better than nothing. And nothing doesn't matter because at least I'm walking around outside in the sunshine. All right, let's move on. Okay, kids, clearly back in the studio. It is now almost, it's like 425 and you can see by the brightness in here that there's a lot of sunlight still coming through from the outside, which I dig. The reason I cut my uh, trip through Pleasure House Point short was because it was incredibly windy. And once I got out of the more foresty area out into the open, it, it was literally like blowing my head off my head and, and kind of knocking me around. So I, I just didn't feel like dealing with that. So I cut back in and went through the woods and everything and really didn't see all that much today. So, but again, I don't care if I see any. It's nice when I go birding to see birds, but you know, if I don't, that's cool because at least I'm out there and I can't stress enough how much I needed a nice sunny day. 
and some time out at Pleasure House Point. All right, enough blathering. I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna go through my pictures. I'm gonna put this video together and then I'm going to enjoy Sven Gulli. So that's all you get. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. And remember kids, forward and up.